Let all on earth their voices raise, three echoing hands triumphant praise to him who gave the apostles grace to run on earth their glorious race. Thou at whose word they bore the light of gospel truth are heathen night to us that heavenly light impart to glad our eyes and cheer our heart. Thou at whose will to them was given to bind and loose in earth and heaven, our chains unbind, our sins undo, and in our hearts thy grace renew. Thou in whose might they spoke the word which cured disease and health restored to us its healing power prolong support the weak, confirm the strong. Blessed be God, the Father of all consolation, who has shown us his mercy. Amen. In this celebration of the Word of God, question 11 of the Compendium of the Catechism of the Catholic Church will be considered. And it is, Why and in what way is divine revelation transmitted? The readings are selected from the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, Year B. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Put this question to the ages that are past, that went before you from the time God created man on earth. Was there ever a word so majestic from one end of heaven to the other? Was it any, anything ever heard? Did ever a people hear the voice of the living God speaking from the heart of the fire as you heard it and remain alive? Has any God ventured to take to himself one nation from the midst of another by ordeals, signs, wonders, war with mighty hand and outstretched arm, by fearsome terrors, all this that the Lord your God did for you before your eyes in Egypt? Understand this today, therefore, and take it to heart. The Lord is God indeed, in heaven above as on earth beneath, he and no other. Keep his laws and commandments as I give them to you today, so that you and your children may prosper and live long in the land that the Lord your God gives you forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. The word of the Lord is faithful and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right and fills the earth with his love. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He spoke and they came to be. He commanded, they sprang into being. Happy the people, 
the Lord has chosen to be his own. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Everyone moved by the Spirit is a son of God. The Spirit you received is not the spirit of slaves, bringing fear into your lives again. It is the spirit of sons, and it makes us cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself and our spirit bear united witness that we are children of God. And if we are children, we are heirs as well, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, sharing his sufferings so as to share his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the God who is, who was, and who is to come. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The eleven disciples set out for Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had arranged to meet them. When they saw him, they fell down before him, though some hesitated. Jesus came up and spoke to them. He said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore, make disciples of all, nation, all the nations. Baptise them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And teach them to observe all the commands I gave you. And know that I am with you always. Yes, to the end of time. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Question 11 of the compendium is, why and in what way is divine revelation transmitted? And it answers, God, quote, desires all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, unquote, from 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4, that is, of Jesus Christ. For this reason, Christ must be proclaimed to all, according to his own command, Quote, go forth and teach all nations, unquote. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. And this is brought about by apostolic tradition. The gospel reading is from the end of the gospel according to Matthew. The twelve have become the eleven with the betrayal of Judas. In Matthew chapter 10, Jesus gives instructions to the twelve apostles beginning with do not make your way into Gentile territory and do not enter any Samaritan town. So their mission then was only to the Jews. But at the end of the Gospel according to Matthew, the instructions are, go forth and teach all nations. To God the Father Almighty, dear brothers and sisters, may every prayer of our heart be directed. For his will it is that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. 
for the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For all the peoples, for the peoples of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For all who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For ourselves and our own community, that the Lord may graciously receive us as a sacrifice acceptable to himself. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. O God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church. For you yourself are the source of all devotion, and grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.